This week's Hawaiian Volcano Summary, you guys were seeing the last week of activity on an F1 USGS thermal camera, and it's showing a little bit of resurfacing of that lava lake uh, after what's been a few weeks of decrease in activity. And we've seen this, the ooze up areas decrease in extent and come to a full 48 hour pause here in the last couple days before uh, having another breakout that popped up last night. Uh, so that's what's on a loop here. That actually brings the, the volcano to its first official f full pause uh, since eruption started about two months ago. Um, depending exactly when you count the, the pause to begin, you could get to 60 days or 61 days or something like that. But we actually have a, a pause in, in the surface activity. It goes back to uh, mid-February, in fact, right? So it's really been two months of activity. That's what's playing here is the last two months of eruption um, on the F1 camera, all sped up. And really, of that two months, the first month was a real big outburst, that really that first day. And much of the last month has really been the wind-down phase, it appears, to where we are now, where we have no tremor underground, showing no magma coming into the volcano, no circulation of lava on a surface. We have had decreasing ooze-ups and, and breakouts in that western lava lake, which is the only one that was remaining this past week. Really, the, the big burst out from that eastern lake lasted about a month. We saw the switch to the central vent um, just about one month ago from today. And since then, uh, both the eastern and central vents have shut off. Just the western vent was hanging on, and this past week it also seems to have shut off. So that's the, the evidence on the surface of what's happening. That's the activity on the surface coming to a full pause. Uh, however, if we look at the signals underground, this is a GPS signal across Kilauea Caldera. And this is the area here two weeks ago where we can see it actually began to increase once again, showing magma still coming into the volcano, but is not reaching those shallowest surface areas. Right? So it's coming in, building underground, and causing the caldera to expand laterally and cause it to spread out. That's why you see this change in the slope of this line, which is distance across the caldera north to south. You see it more or less steady, and then you see it suddenly taking this hike upwards there. That's a result of that. Uh, buildup of magma underground, and that's been happening ever since activity has been slowing down here. Uh, and perhaps more interesting today is if we look at the tilt signal on the ground over the past month, you can see that here is a period where we're having very few different character of deflation inflation events. And on February 17th, we had this large drop that coincided with the rainfall, but was not uh, caused by the rainfall. It may have been um, the signal may have been influenced a little bit, but overall, it's the volcanic signal here. And since then, the activity has been in a slowdown since the 17th. However, if we look here at the right end of the graph, you can see today we've finally come back up uh, in excess of that level before. Now, certainly the volcano is changing its, um, its strength as it's hardening and all of that. So, uh, so far we have not seen a resumption of activity from magma, but you can see the shallow ground is also showing tilting, showing magma uh, trying to reach the surface there too. And so the question really is, whether the magma can come back out through the conduits that's already established and do, the, do so within the next three months is the definition we've heard in the past. And if so, it'll be a resumption of this current eruption. It'll just be a pause, per se. However, if this build up in pressure uh, leads to a breakout elsewhere around the summit, and it's important to note this is only in a summit that's showing this expansion. Everyone rest, everywhere else in the rift zone is uh, showing quiet and no signs of increased threat. People need, don't need to worry about anything in the rift zones at present here. So if it breaks out elsewhere in a summit area through a different conduit, then it'll be considered a new eruption. And so in that case, we may be seeing the end of the current eruption happening now. As is often the case in Kilauea, it's a wait and see. And so we'll see what the split up in pressure underground leads to at the surface and how long that takes. And that sums it up for this week here.